Today we are making a birthday cake and homemade is so much better and the demand for it is to be cute. Hello, it's Sushi of Hello Shreya. First up we'll dive directly into the batter and then in between we'll catch up with some stories. So the golden ratio which I follow while making most of my cakes is the ratio of flour to sugar and of flour to oil. It's 1 is to 1 for flour and sugar and 2 is to 1 for flour and oil. Here I'm gathering all my dry stuffs to have them prepared beforehand so they contain flour, sugar, baking powder and cocoa powder. Apart from the flour, sugar and oils, I mostly eyeball most of the ingredients with my Asian eyeball so don't find me later with the measurements. I have detailed everything in the description box below so you can always go and have a look later. And now it's time for the wet ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, I've taken two eggs and I like my eggs to go fluffy. This makes the cake spongy and soft. My hands are not at all strong, so I always depend on my hand mixer to make the eggs fluffy. Now this takes a good 2-3 to three minutes until you get a frothy texture like this. But before adding the rest of the wet ingredients, let's prepare the milk. I've taken half cup of milk and in it goes 1 spoon of cocoa powder and 1 spoon of coffee. And I'll microwave it for a minute. This helps the flavors to enhance a lot. Okay, back to business. Here goes half cup of vegetable oil and again I'm blending it till it goes to a consistency like this. Here I'm adding 2 spoonfuls of vanilla essence and the chocolate milk which we had prepared earlier. And now slowly little by little adding all the dry ingredients to gather the batter. This batter looks so rich and gorgeous. Do you see those bubbles? Those are exactly what we want. These will make the cake so spongy and light. And of course I had to try it. Now here I've already lined the baking mold with butter paper and I would recommend you to do so as well. Having these things done beforehand makes a lot of your work easier. Pat it a little so that there are no air pockets left behind and in goes this in the oven. The cake is done and let's do the toothpick test now. It's a success. Now we'll just transfer it to a plate and let it cool. I don't have a cooling rack so if you do skip the plate with the rack. Meanwhile, in a mixing bowl, I have taken some whipped cream and I'm also adding some custard powder. Okay, this might sound weird. TikTok taught me this. This place where I stay is very hot and humid and it's very difficult for a whipped cream to last long in this temperature. So I'm trying out this hack for the first time. Don't know how it will turn out, but let's trust the process. And by now my grandma body had just given up, so I'm on my knees as you can see. The whipped cream takes around 8 to 10 minutes and when you see such stiff picks, sorry, stiff picks is a sign that it's done. Now do the flip test and test it out for its stability. I also tasted the whipped cream at this point. The custard powder didn't add much to the taste but the texture felt a bit grainy. I don't know how much it will absorb the moisture but will surely update you if it does any wonders. For the basic crumb coating, I'm slicing the cake into two layers and it will follow with the whipped cream coating. This process was tedious as I'm not a professional baker so bear with me.
and this was after the crumb coating and it is going into the freezer overnight i am so proud of my achievement so far see you next morning good night good morning it's day 2 and the cake is chill perfect for the icing now for the decoration part i want to something minimalist so i thought of doing small heart patterns on the entire cake i have planned for two colors one is light brown and the other a bit reddish brown in color keeping the palette a bit to the neutrals Look at this cutie and oh the color matches my nail polish. <laughs> All together they loved the cake and the custard kind of did the trick. I would give the hack a 6 out of 10. And here's a glimpse from the cake cutting. That was all for today. I hope you loved the video. If you did, do like and subscribe as well. See you soon. Till then, take care. Bye.